911. What's yeah, your emergency? The, the sky's on fire. It, it's bright. What it's is bright, bright, sir? Yeah. Oh, sir, God. what is your location? Oh, sir, bright. remain calm. Please stay. <laughs> Strange creatures, unexplainable phenomena, paranormal activity, the facts, the myths, the legends, and beyond. Snow circles, Arctic aliens, UFOs, snowman mutilations, men in white, Good evening. Tonight, we explore the mysterious Area 32, a remote tract of land spanning portions of the Dakotas and points west to include Montana and Wyoming, a tract of land unlike any other tract of land. Each winter, it experiences a dynamic metamorphosis, transforming it into a veritable hotbed of paranormal activity. Tonight, we will infiltrate the confines and unlock the mysteries of Area 32. Jim Paulson, a sane man by most accounts, wasn't expecting to find what he found on that cold, fateful February day in 2005, but he found it anyway. Yeah, I was snowshoeing in the back 40, playing with May the chicks. May I examine the photographic evidence, Mr. Paulson? Hmm? Yeah, you can call me Jim. Mr. Paulson, this is most certainly not a hoax. Have you attempted to return communication? Uh, yes. Uh, We've been going back and forth for quite some time now. Kind of in a relationship, a long distance one. Rapid City, South Dakota, January 18th, 1976, the day Susie Reynolds' father passed away. That day on his deathbed, Richard Reynolds told his daughter a secret so dark, a secret so deep, what did your father tell you that day, Miss Reynolds? He told me about an alien Arctic skull he'd stolen and hidden. The skull of a white zeta reticulum? Yes. May I view the specimen, Miss Reynolds? It'll frostbite bare skin in a matter of seconds. Absolutely fascinating. He also gave me this. Has anyone seen this footage before? Not that I know of. Right now, I'm standing just outside the perimeter of Area 32. I'm going to attempt to infiltrate the premises and see what I can find. Stay close with me. Questions without answers. Answers without questions. Truth, it seems, is a fateful master. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Exploring the Mysteries of the Arctic Quadrangle. Until then, may you seek the truth you find. This program made possible by a generous grant from Red Feather Snowshoes. Proud sponsor of all those out exploring the mysteries of the Arctic Quadrangle. 
Red Feather Snowshoes. You never know what you'll find out there.